Jennifer Bezdecek is a lawyer in Washington. She is having a small tattoo removed from her ankle. I got this tattoo when I was 18. It wasn't the smartest decision I ever made, and it just was not, you know, not conducive to seeing clients or being in high-profile places. So I just wanted to get rid of it altogether and not have to worry about it anymore. New laser technology makes tattoo removal less painful and less costly. The laser breaks up the coloring into pieces that are small enough to be removed by normal body processes. It takes several treatments for the tattoo to disappear completely. A tattoo is uh, balls of ink that are injected into the superficial layers of the skin. And these balls of ink are captured by immune cells and they're stored in those immune cells, but the balls of ink are too big for those immune cells to digest and carry away. So they get stuck in the skin uh, inside these immune cells called macrophages. The principle of laser is that it shoots a beam of energy into the skin of a specific wavelength and that will target that pigment, explode it into smaller particles. And those smaller particles can now be captured by these immune cells, these macrophages, and carried away in the bloodstream and, uh, and excreted and destroyed externally. Ken Soller operates this laser center. He says he often treats women who believe tattoos are hurting their career. Some are extremely emotional and they say, this is the best day of my life that I've had. I've looked at this thing for 20 years. I've wanted it off. You can't imagine how I wanted it off. Not much. If it's if it is, we'll let you know. You got the blue ball already? Yep, got it. Okay, ready to go. They used to think they could just put laser onto the tattoo pigment and the ink would absorb the heat and disappear. What they didn't factor was that the tattoo pigment's sitting in tissue. If you heat the pigment, you'll burn the surrounding tissue. The first breakthrough occurred in the early 90s when they were able to make lasers that had a very short pulse width in the nanosecond range. Some colors like black absorb all colors. So any Q-switch laser, picosecond laser, can remove black. Other colors are much more difficult to remove. Green, for example, requires a red color laser light. What they found there was that previously resistant green, some cases were moving in two or three treatments, and general tattoos seemed to clear in half the time of the conventional nanosecond technology. When you're having a laser tattoo removal, it is essentially a medical procedure, and every medical procedure carries with it risks. Feet are sensitive areas, and because the laser may hurt a little, rather than giving you the choice, I'm gonna actually suggest you put some anesthetic in now. If you use too much power, you will burn the surrounding tissue, it will ulcerate, and you'll be left with holes in the skin that heal with scarring. And unfortunately, new operators tend to have this problem. There's a learning curve. About a third of Americans between the ages of 18 and 40 have at least one tattoo. As they grow older, some of them are having their tattoos removed.